101 Artist Cement is a wonderful artist medium uh, and cement. It can be mixed with paint and it can be used for many applications. It comes in a heavy and a light. The heavy is used for more solid surfaces and where weight uh, has no bearing on what you're doing. And a light, the light is much lighter in weight uh, and it has, has a fluffier texture to it and it's used for canvases, fabric, textiles, and maybe even card making, some place where you would not want such a heavy application. Uh, the difference in the way that the material looks is also very different. As you can see, this has a very uh, heavy appearance and it will adhere just about anything. Uh, we have some people who have adhered car bumpers onto a surface using this material. I wouldn't recommend it, however we have heard tell that that's what they're doing. And the light is uh, completely different and it has, as you can tell, a fluffy, almost whipped cream appearance and it's very, very light in texture. I'm going to give you one application uh, and show you how this is used with this stencil. This is the heavy and a stencil that I've used with a piece of paper underneath. And I'm simply going to, with a palette knife or a credit card, make a swipe using the material, picking up the excess and lifting the stencil. And it has left a raised textural effect here. You want to rinse your brushes and your tools because this will dry. It is an acrylic. Before this dries, you can do all kinds of techniques. Now in this case, I'm using some little Mica Delights and I'm just sprinkling it with Mica Delights and it's kind of a pretty effect. However, I could put gilding on this. I could wait for it to dry and paint it. Um, once it's cut out, if it would be cut out, it would be very flexible. Um, I have done the same application onto tissue paper, large, large uh, stencils on tissue paper. When they would dry, I use wallpaper paste and apply them to a wall and they become uh, wall appliques. So now that this is dry, you can see what a pretty little thing that is. This is ideal for scrapbooking, card making, and or large pieces of artwork and wall applications. Here are two examples very nicely done using the 101 light. This was just done with a palette knife and applied in a very fluffy like manner. Uh, simple Christmas cards. Um, a gal named Julie from our art department did these and I really like them because they're a great example of using 101 light on a card making, uh, in a card making way. These are then painted afterwards. This one's been sprinkled with a little bit of mica. This one has some beads uh, sprinkled onto it, but they were pressed into it so that they would not come off. These are really, really cute and done on a piece of mat board.